today's workout is for using a small ball, vendor ball, yoga ball, bouncy ball that you get from your kid's toy box, whatever you can hold in your hand. And it will be a standing Pilates, working on some balance work and some um, core strength. Taking the ball up above your head and then just circling around. So warming the torso, warming the spine. Need to be able to hold the ball in one hand at one point, so it needs to be a little bit squishy. And then take it to one side and drop forward, rounding the back, and then reverse every time you come to the top. Just reminding you of our Pilates principles as we do some standing Pilates work. There's a three C principles. Control with every move that you do, you wanna have good control. Centering, using that powerhouse to motivate all your movement. Let's take it one more time. Concentration, focusing on every move. Moves are fluid and smooth. Take it in one hand and drop it down and up as you bend your knees into a squat, opening and lifting. So moves are smooth and fluid. Precision and detail is another principle of Pilates, how you execute that move with precise detail, and then incorporating that breathing pattern into all of your moves. Reverse the direction of the circle as you keep the ball in that same hand and reverse it up and over, up and over, up and over. Then take the ball behind your back, Open up the chest, the shoulders, the chin. Bring the ball back into your legs. Release and roll up. Take the ball behind your back. Open up the chest, the shoulders, the chin. And bring the ball to your legs. And roll back up. One more time. Take it open. Chest, shoulders, chin. Bring it to the legs. Round and bring it back up. And roll the shoulders. Take the ball above your head and lift your right knee up and find your balance. So it's coming from this pelvic triangle, the powerhouse area and the pelvis. Then from here, take that leg behind you as you bring your ball down, transfer it into the other hand and back up. This is a nice focal point of balance. As you gaze down into the floor, extend your leg and lift up. And that control factor and that centering and the movement smooth and fluid. As you bring the ball to your chest, ball in the right hand, go deep enough you can take the ball behind the back of your leg. Now the back leg can extend or you keep it close by in a little more of a bent position, forcing the chest and the left leg to go a little lower, a little deeper. As you bring it back up, hold. Take the ball over your head, take the foot out to the side. You're gonna curtsy squat behind you and then back up to a side tilt, using the side tilt on both directions. And the curtsy squat and the lift, and the curtsy squat and the lift. If you'd like to have a little more challenge, bring that knee up. Push the bottom leg down into the floor, especially into the foot as you come up with control. This is a tricky one. One more time. Pull up. Good. Bring your legs back together with the knee in. Hold. And step backwards into a lunge. Bring it back up. Step backwards. As you come up, push the ball up. Take it down. Push the ball up. Step back. Push the ball up. On this next one, stay back. And lift the ball up and down. Up and down. Now the next one, put the ball in your right hand, come underneath your leg, and try not to lean forward as much as possible. There will be a slight leaning forward, but not exaggerated. So you're trying to go deeper down into your legs to get underneath. Take that one more time. As you bring it up, Bring it into the chest, sink a little deeper into the lunge, engage the pelvis. Chip forward, bring the 
ball to the front of the knee and come back up into the chest. Front of the knee and lift. Now notice the details of this move. Both legs are bent. I'm not going up and down. I'm holding the position and then just shifting the weight forward. Okay, with the ball in the right hand, touch the floor. Bring it back into the chest. Touch the floor. Bring it back into the chest. Touch the floor. Back into the chest. Take it one more time. As you shift forward, take it behind the back of your leg. In front and pull back up. Shift forward, take it behind the back of your leg. Bring it in front, pull back up. Behind the back of your leg. And as you shift your body weight forward, body weight is kind of the new lifting. You use your body weight for resistance. Really hitting that left hip pretty good here. Take the ball now, place it on your thigh. Use your chest and squish down into the ball, bring your hands to the floor. As you bring your hands to the floor, walk them a little more forward, and then extend your back leg up and down. Now I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this on a different angle. So the ball is on my thigh. It's forcing me to go a little bit lower in the standing leg, and then my back leg up and down. Now change. The knee comes in deeply, deepening the squat, extend out of it using both legs to extend. This is called a Shiva squat, as you extend out of it. So I'm actually bending deep and straightening in the stable leg as well as the opposite leg. Keep this one here, lower, press up, pull it in. Extend, lower, press up, pull in. Two more on this side, lift, lower, lift higher, pull in, last one. And this is a real good glute burner right here on that side hip and come in. Bring the feet to the floor, lift up out of it as you roll up, roll the shoulders back. Coming now into the same exercises on the opposite side. So bring your left leg up, bring the hands above your head with the ball. In the right, or in the left hand, transfer the weight forward with your chest, transfer the ball, bring it up. Transfer. Now I find that this balance work, for me, it's best if I'm on a flat floor, a wood floor, even a little bit of carpet or a small mat can throw me off balance here. So I feel very safe and secure when my foot is in bare feet, planted on the floor. As you come up, bring the ball into your chest. Same move, but a little deeper, goes behind the back of your leg. And then the back leg doesn't matter as much if it's straightening or bending. It's more about your stabilizer leg going down deep enough into the leg to get the ball behind the other leg. Hold here and take the ball up as you touch your toe to the side. Engaging into a curtsy squat, stable. Using a side tilt with both moves. Adding a knee lift for an intensity option or keeping the toe down for more stability. And we want control of the moves. And one more. Good. Bring the knee back in, center, hold. Step back into your lunge. And knee up. Step back into the lunge. And pull the knee up. On the next one, when the knee comes up, ball goes up. Find a little more posture. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. On the next one, stay back, reposition the feet, and take it down and up. Now, take that ball in that hand and take it down underneath the leg without leaning too far forward. Try and go deeper as you drop your back knee. Good. Take that one more time. 
And as you bring it up, bring the ball into your chest, sink deep into the lunge. Touch forward at the top of the knee and come up. So again, notice I'm not bouncing up and down. My body is staying at the same level, but shifting body weight forward into the stable leg. So it's called loading the leg, then it adds weight. Now put it in your left hand, and as you reach down, touch the floor. Pull back up into the chest. Touch the floor. And all of these moves, a lot of them very functional. We bend over, pick things up off the floor all day long. So train the body for everyday lifetime activities. Good. On the next one, take the ball underneath your leg. Bring it back to the middle before you come back up. Go down under the leg and then come back up. Still shifting the weight forward and feeling definitely that work in the right hip. As you come up, place the ball on the thigh. Put your chest down and squish the ball, reaching the hands forward. Now I'm going to come over to this other side. Walk the hands, elevate the leg. So my stable leg has a little bend in it. I'm deep enough to put the pressure into the ball. My hands are slightly forward to give me some stability. And then I'm extending and lowering the moving leg. Come down deeper into a Shiva squat, then extend and lengthen out of it. See how long you can make your stable leg without using the ball. So bringing the chest. Now this is requiring some flexibility. And there's no judgment here. You work within your own range, front leg and back leg. Hold the leg up, lower it to the floor, lift it back up, pull the knee in. Extend out of it, lower it to the floor, lift and pull in. Extend out of it, lower to floor, lengthen, pull in. You've got one more of these. Lengthen, lower, lift, pull in, step the foot down, and roll your body upright to face forward. Okay, just a few more exercises. Wide position, toes rotated outward. Plie squat, body in a great position where you're not leaning forward. Place the ball into the right hand and take it behind the back of your leg, transferring it in a figure eight. Now notice my legs are stable in a deep, wide, sumo plie squat. The movement's coming from the torso. So in Pilates, you always have stable muscles and then movers. The movement here is coming from your waistline. Stable's coming from your leg muscles. Come back up and hold. Rise out of it. And then sink a little deeper and challenge yourself. Still on your right hand. This time, go under the leg from the front. From the front. Try, uh, this changes the way the upper body responds. It's more of a forward contraction from one side to the other. Still a lot of legs, a lot of deep contraction in the leg muscles. A couple more. And one more on each side. Good. As you come back up, lengthen your legs, and then come back down into that plie squat. Center the pelvis, hands to the ball, squish the ball. Aim your elbow to your thigh. Squish the ball to activate front shoulder, chest, stabilize your legs, and then the side to side tilt. Ooh, that's a good one. A couple more, and one more on each side as you finish, come up. Now keep your legs wide, turn to one side and place the ball on the front of the leg. Place your elbow on top of the ball as you lower deeper and activate the back of the tricep muscle by pushing down. You're also gonna feel a little bit of contraction in the abdominals. So lengthen your back leg so you feel like you're more in a lunge. From here, the other hand goes behind the back. Back leg, knee pulls forward, pushes down. So identify the stable muscle versus the mover. Here's your stable. You've got a leg stable, elbow holding ball, tricep stable. Abdominals are bracing, and then you've got movement in your back leg. And that's what challenges the stabilizers. Try to go a little deeper, lower, push further back. Deeper, lower. So that's gonna come from dropping the back knee. A little deeper, lower, push back. Take that one more time. 
Little presses, elbow into the ball, little presses with the leg. Four, three, two, one, rise out of it, take hold of the ball, turn to the other side. Place the ball on the front of the thigh, place your elbow into the ball. Lengthen your back leg and push down with your elbow to activate the tricep and the tummy. Place the hand behind the back and then now activate so it's pressure into the ball. From this position, take your back knee and just start to pull forward and push back. So again, identify your stable muscles versus your movers. And every Pilates move you do should incorporate the core muscles with a stable muscle and then a moving muscle and the six principles of Pilates. We're gonna go a little deeper, a little more pressure in the elbow and a little lower in the knee. A little more pressure in the elbow and lower in the knee. So it almost feels like a little more of a press than just a bending. Now stay low on this one and little presses. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee in four, three, two, and one. Rise back out of it. Take the ball behind your back. Open up your chest. That's a pretty quick, short little workout. It's a pretty intense leg workout for Pilates work. The centering should have happened through the whole entire workout. Reach one arm above your head with the ball and drop the other one right down to the side of your leg. Feel it slide down by your knee and then just turn your head. You got an element of balance today, a lot of balance. And come back in. Switch to the other side. For longer workouts, using the ball. And for other workouts, using the ball. Check out my YouTube channel, Fitness with Jen Allen. A lot of stuff in there, especially when you're stuck at home and pull in. Now just take that ball up and lean to the side and circle forward and come around to the other side and bring it out. Switch sides and bring it up. Cross your right foot over your left. Keep the right hand up with the ball, the left hand at your side. And a side tilt, stretching all the way up the side of the leg, side of the body, IT band, arm, as you come up, switch sides. Cross your left, ball on the left hand above your head, drop down. And then come back up. Take the ball into the right hand with your left toe behind you, find your balance, pull up into quadriceps stretch, pull the knee forward. that left leg forward, heel down, bend your knee, and reach forward for a hamstring stretch. Release the ball to your foot, releasing the low back, and roll up the vertebrae. Step up onto that left foot with the ball now in your left hand, right leg behind. Pull forward, feel the stretch go down the front of the thigh. Pull that foot forward, heel to floor, ball up, bend your back knee as you reach forward for the hamstring. Now release the ball down to the foot as you release your low back, and then roll all the way up. Bring the feet together, ball in either hand, doesn't matter. Take a deep breath in, exhale, transfer. Take it again, deep breath in, exhale, transfer. One more time, deep breath in. Bring the ball to your chest to an exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're surviving, staying stuck in your house, and that you're finding some workouts to keep your body active.